What I'm going to do now is show you how to make the perfect crackling. No fuss, straightforward, guaranteed every time. Let's take a tiny bit of sunflower oil and just massage it into the belly pork. You could use clarified butter if you wanted. Without the oil, the crackling is never as golden, it's never as crispy. Table salt, you just season evenly. Not too much salt. We take a little water, we put that in the bottom of our roasting tray. I mean, if someone said to me, Marco, how much water? Who cares? Because as long as he doesn't evaporate, I'm not that bothered. And the reason for that is because I want to capture all those juices. And so that is the base of my gravy. Let's just put our belly pork on our rack. One and a half hours, maybe two hours, bottom shelf. Approximately 160. Your crackling should be golden brown, perfect. So within that time, we can make our honey glaze. So for the honey glaze, we've got the clear honey, star anise, six or seven, and one tablespoon of cracked coriander. Approx 600 mils of honey, clear honey, and it goes. Then we take our coriander and our star anise. And then we reduce that down by half, and that's our glaze. My garnish for my roast pork is going to be roast onions. Cooking should be a pleasure. If it's a job, get a takeaway. I didn't peel them. I just cut them straight in half. I don't mind a bit of skin. It holds it all together. Bay leaf, take a bit. The sage. And just a little bit of seasoning. And then just pop them in the oven, and when they're cooked, they're cooked. The inspiration for the pig is from the old man. It was a cheap cut, but it was delicious. Good fat content. Buy a belly pork. It's much cheaper than a prime cut, and it tastes better. Amazing crackling. Now, but as you can see, the water underneath has collected all those juices. And that's going to be the foundation of my sauce. My gravy is now reducing, and it's almost there. But just to finish it off, what I will do, I'll add a tiny bit of my honey reduction into there, just give it a bit of sweetness. And then I'm going to glaze it with the honey reduction. Okay, there's our pig. Pig, pig, pig. And I like big chunks. I don't like sort of thin slices. And this little piggy went to market. He really went to market. This is a big pig. It smells good. And, you know, to drop this in the middle of the table on a Sunday lunch or whatever day of the week, it's got that sense of occasion. It doesn't have to be perfect.